Hey guys and gals, Malkuth1974 back at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be covering the M700 survey scanner and how it works. It's a very simple thing to use once you understand uh, the limitations of how it works and what you need to do and the kind of orbit you need to have to make it actually work. And we'll take a look at it right here. It is this part right here. Now the M700 survey scanner is the, it basically scans the whole body and it gives you a semi-reliable map of where the best concentrations of resources are before you can drill them. Uh, it's not perfect. There is a few other uh, added uh, parts that make it a little bit more easy. So if you scan with the M700 survey scanner, you'd want to actually add the surface scanning module to your actual vessel that is going to be doing the mining and this can help pinpoint a more accurate picture of the best place to mine and uh, gather resources. When you mine the higher the, the resource concentration the, the faster you mine the more you get and the less uh, you know time acceleration stuff you have to do. So let's get this into a lunar orbit and we'll show you how it actually works. Alrighty guys, now that I'm in orbit, I'm showing you that I do have an uh, interception of the moon set up right now. And we're going to show you a little chart right now that actually will show you uh, the different levels of the different planets that you have to be. So number one, you have to be at a certain height for the scanner to work. For the moon, it has to be above 25 kilometers, which is uh, you, you basically 25,000 meters. So uh, you guys want to make sure that's set up. So I want to make sure that this is above that. I'm going to put it at 250. So there we go. We're at 243,800 and it is dropping a little bit, but that's fine. The next thing you have to worry about is that right now, we'll, when we enter the moon, we'll be on an equatorial uh, orbit. We want to be on a north to south pole or a polar orbit for this to work correctly. Now a polar orbit means that you're orbiting from the north to the south pole pretty much in a, as straight a line as you want. So you want to be at that particular angle. And bang. And you can see I'm still actually somewhat on a pole, not a polar plane, but a, uh, let's see if I can lift that a little bit. I'm going to minus that just a tad. And I'm going to go like that, and like that. So all I'm doing is adjusting my uh, my nodes here, and I'm basically guessing at what this uh, this is. We can do some more fine adjustments. If you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm actually getting into a uh, actual orbit of the uh, moon. Let me uh, adjust this some more, and. That is pretty close. I can uh, find adjustment. I can do some adjustments to it a little bit later. What is this at? That's 641. We can fix all of this. There we go. How far off am I? Not a whole lot. So I'll check this out. Am I at 256 and 205? So I am over. I am definitely over uh, what I need to be for the moon. Now we're just going to set up to deploy the scanner. And we're going to perform orbital survey. And it says starting transmission. We're updating. Make sure you have, we'll go over what you need to have on your vessel for this all to work correctly. This is instantaneous. You don't have to, or, you don't have to do a bunch of orbits for this to work. The, the whole map is now updated. If we look at this, we can see the map on there. So what you need on your vessel for this to work, let's uh, destage this part right here. This is the actual scanner right here. I had plenty of fuel there. But you need batteries on there, to enough to survive that actual sending that information. You need the actual M700 scanner itself, uh, some type of uh, automated probal body. Uh, you need uh, solar panels to give you power for you can keep your batteries charged up. And most important, you need uh, some type of communications like a, com a Comatron 16, something where you can send the information back to Kerbin for it can be updated. Now that our scanning's done, let's go over what things work and how they work. Number one, you can uh, right click still on the M700 
survey scanner and you have a bunch of different overlays on here uh, one thing you can do is you can actually shut off the overlay and it will shut everything off that's what the toggle overlay will do uh, another thing is we got this color inverse that will change the different types of color tones you have on the actual planet so if you look at uh, the moon right here we can change it to heat map green which will show you know the different concentrations of what we have and we can do heat map blue which is, is is the opposite of green the same idea and we have monochrome and we back to inverse uh, if we look at the scanner right here uh, we can see that has cut off and plus and cut off uh, minus and we look here the color inverse is set to zero percent that means it will it will show us everything as a uh, the, uh, so right now it'll show us every type of resource that the planet has but if we want to start adding a cutoff to it so now we want to only see everything that is 10% and above so that's going to show us 10% of above of the concentration of the actual ores so uh, or if we want to go a little bit higher oh sorry didn't want to push that uh, we'll keep it on inverse right now if we want to go to uh, 20% it'll show us anything above a 20% uh, resource extraction rate, 30%, uh, 40%, 50%, you can go all the way up to uh, 100%, but you might not have all that many options on the planet to actually see that. So let me put it back on, say, 70%. So it's showing that, and I'll, I'll turn this back to, say, heat map green uh, at 70%. Let's do heat map blue, that. So you just can see everything. Heat map green, I'll just put it up again. Everything basically disappeared. So let's take a look at uh, the map view. And as we can see that there's a massive concentration of uh, the cutoff is 80%. By the way, you can uh, actually get that same thing to come up if you look at this little icon up here. It's the same idea. So the cutoff is set at 80%. We can go down again and it's the same thing that we were doing on there it's just the cutoff is up is written up here and we have the plus and minus right there uh, so 80 percent 90 percent and you can uh, actually look at everything there's nothing there for 90 percent doesn't seem like it but there is an 80 percent concentration if I landed right in this area I would have a pretty good uh, extraction rate for that uh, again you could change the color up here to whatever you want uh, we had it like that and then the style you can change to different types of style that you want to have. Uh, I don't know how many there are. It looks like there's three different styles. We can see there's some other higher concentrations here and here. Put that back. So again, this is giving us a reading of, you know, a general reading of the moon. It's not exact. So there you go guys, that's all you need to know about the M700 survey scanner. Again, you need to be in a polar orbit and you need to be at the right height specified by uh, what is needed for each planet. And again, you have that little toolbar there. You can also go to the Kerbal Space Program wiki to find out about that. Just look up the M700 survey scanner, you'll see that same exact uh, little tool thing that I showed you, all the different graphs of the different planets and what heights they have to be and that should help you out. So there you go. That is all guys. This is Malkuth 1974. We'll see you later. Have a good one. Malkuth out of here.